the glossary of typography. A visual guide to some common typography terms. See key below. Key to image. 1. Bowl. 2. Stem. 3. Counter. 4. Arm. 5. Ligature. 6. Terminal. 7. Spine. 8. Ascender. 9. Apex. 10. Serif. 11. Ear. 12. Descender. 13. Crossbar. 14. Finial. 15. Ascender height. 16. Cap height. 17. X height. 18. Baseline. 19. Descender line. Ash. A ligature of two letters A and E. The ash derives from Old English where it represented a diphthong vowel and has successfully migrated to other alphabets including Danish and Icelandic. Aperture. The constricted opening of a glyph as seen in the letter E. Varying the size of the aperture has a direct effect on the legibility of a letter form and, ultimately, readability. Apex The point at the top of a character where the left and right strokes meet. The example shown here is the top point of an uppercase A. Arm, a horizontal stroke that does not connect to a stroke or stem at one or both ends. Ascender, the part of a lowercase letter form that projects above the X height of the font. Ascenders are important for ease of prolonged reading, though the combination of too much ascender height and not enough X height can cause problems. Baseline. The baseline is where the feet of the capital letters sit. Below this are descenders and loops. Bowl. The shapely enclosed parts of letters. Beak. The beak shaped terminal at the top of letters. Bracket, a wedge-like shape that joins a serif to the stem of a font in some typefaces. Cap height, the height of a capital letter above the baseline. Counter, the enclosed or partially enclosed portion of letter forms such as C, the lower parts of E and G, easy to get mixed up with the bowl. Crossbar. The crossbar connects two strokes, not to be confused with the cross stroke that cuts through the stem of letter forms Descender, the part of the letter form that falls between the baseline. In lowercase terms, this means P, Y and Q, and sometimes applies to uppercase J and Q. Dingbat, once known as printer's flowers, Dingbats are decorative elements that can vary from simple bullets to delicate fauna and flora 
often formed into themed collections. Display fonts. Any typeface intended to be used in short bursts can be defined as a display font. They are often created just for use at large point sizes as with headlines and titles. Drop cap. An oversized capital letter often used at the start of a paragraph that drops into two or more lines of text but can also climb upwards. Ethel, a ligature of the letters O and E. M, often referred to as mutton to distinguish it from the very similar sounding N. M is a horizontal space equal to the current point size of text. N, not to its friends, the N is a horizontal measure one half the size of an M. Fleuron, a subcategory of or the precursor to the dingbat. Fleurons are floral marks dreamed up by printers of the past to help decorate text. Glyph, any singular mark that makes part of a font, whether a letter, number, punctuation mark or even a dingbat. Glyphs are the building blocks of typography. Grapheme. Very similar to glyph, but possibly a bit broader. A grapheme is a fundamental unit of language, such as a Chinese pictogram, an exclamation mark, or a letter form. Still with us in guide to what is typography? Great, because we've got more terms coming way. Justified. In a paragraph of justified text, the contents are arranged so that there is no white space at the end of a line. Each begins flush left and finishes flush right. Ligature The conjoined but non-identical twins of the typographic universe. Ligatures pull two forms together to produce a new glyph. Manicule also known as the bishop's fist, stop sniggering at the back. The pointing hand symbol is a popular dingbat. Monospace, fonts in which every letter form occupies the same horizontal space. Octothorpe, it might sound like the ideal name for an international supervillain, but the word octothorpe in fact refers to the pound sign and often symbolizes the word number. Pilcrow, the paragraph symbol. It now marks the presence of a carriage return but at one time is thought to have denoted a change of theme in flowing text. Point, a standard typographical measurement equal to one twelfth of a pica or one by seventy two of an inch. Side bearing, the horizontal space to either side of a letter form separating it from other letters. Spine, the main curved stroke of a lowercase or capital S. Stem, a vertical full-length stroke in upright characters.